Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. So in today's video, what I wanted to do was kind of create some sort of miso and drop gear guide. Uh, I know there's a lot of new and returning players that are coming back to the game and me and Joe have been getting asked a lot of questions about how much drop to get, how much miso to get, what's important, when should I get it, how much should it cost? So in today's video, I'm going to go through all of that stuff ranging from what is miso gear, when should you get it? How much does it cost to make? What percent miso and what percent drop should you go for? And when should you min max percent drop and go for 200% drop on your gear? So we're gonna cover all that in the video today. But to start off, let's just start by talking about what is miso gear. Miso gear is a percent stat gained on legendary tier accessories from things like your Zakum Iron Face, your Horntail Ring, your Horntail Earrings, and any other type of ring. These are lines that give you either 20% miso or 20% drop. Typically, most players will go and get this on gear such as uh, a boss set or things like a Sweetwater tattoo, but for the sake of this video, we're not gonna get too much into that, but just know that miso drop gear is a potential that is gained on legendary tier potentials for accessory items. So now that we know what a miso and drop gear is, when should you get a miso and drop gear? So this is a question that me and Joe get asked a lot during our live streams. And to be honest with you, I think that you should go for miso and drop gear right away. I think this should be the first thing that you try to work towards before you try to 15 star or anything before you try to 17 star anything you should always 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 go for miso and drop gear it's crucially important to making progression in the game it makes progressing so much easier i know that creating that initial miso and drop gear feels like you're regressing in a way because you're not making any damage gains and you're spending a lot of time farming without seeing any type of progression but i'm telling you once you finish the miso and drop gear and you get the lines that you do need it is going to make progression feel so much easier i know when i had first started off making miso and drop gear was a real pain because sometimes you can farm for two hours literally only make like 100 mil and then try to go in cube and still remain at epic or even sometimes rare which does suck at times but understand that the sooner you get it done with the sooner it's finished and the quicker that you can start to progress and also i have a few guides on youtube as well talking about making money at an early game level i'll put those in the description below if you guys want to check them out there's definitely a ton more ways to make money nowadays besides just farming and training so keep that in mind and use those extra misos to make the miso and drop gear so now that we've kind of gone over what miso and drop gear is and when you should get it. How much does it typically cost? So this is a pretty vague answer. And to be honest with you, generally speaking, miso and drop gear can cost anywhere from six bill all the way to 12 bill to get your baseline miso and drop gear. And what I mean by baseline is 100% miso and 67% drop. Now, usually what that's going to look like for most players is you're going to have five pieces of gear that have 20% miso, and then you're going to have two pieces of gear that have percent drop and then the ex extra drop is going to either come from hs or your inner ability do note that you only need 67 percent drop initially to get the full miso amount from each bag so it is important also to have drop as well on top of 100 percent miso if you have just 100 percent miso and only 20 percent drop rate not every single mob is going to drop pouches so make sure that you do at least have 67 percent drop to ensure that every single mob is is dropping a full miso bag you don't need to go any higher than 67 percent especially starting off i do not recommend trying to min max and getting a high percent drop rate earlier on i think that's something to do later on and that's what we'll get into next but for now just focus on getting 100 percent miso and 67 percent drop once you finish your miso and drop gear you're going to notice that your rates go from about 80 to 100 mil without it to anywhere from 400 to 600 mil with it this makes progressing on your main so much easier and it also helps making boss mules so much easier as well not only does it help you obviously get the money that you need to make these upgrades but it also helps you gather more resources like nodes familiars and droplets to make the progression not only on your main but also on your boss mules as well so now that we've kind of gone over most of like the basic things pertaining miso and drop gear i want to talk about when you should consider min maxing percent drop rate and going for that 200 percent drop rate on your gear so for everybody who doesn't know you're able to get 100 percent miso lines on your gear and you're able to get all the way up to 200 percent drop on your gear as well so as drop rate is capped at 400 percent you're only able to get 
200% of that cap from your equipment. So you're not able to run anything over 200% drop on your gear. But it is something that a lot of players should invest in, especially with the removal of totems. So I think that most people should think about min-maxing their percent drop when they have at least anywhere from 6 to 8 boss fuels created and they have a very steady income coming in. The reason why the percent drop obviously is so important is because it not only helps you get a lot more nodes and droplets for either your main or for your boss mules, but it helps you gather a ton more familiars. And for a lot of people who don't know, familiars are a very, very, very important part of the end game. So this is something that you want to try and boost as much as possible earlier on so you can gather as much of these as possible. I know I personally, when I had made my Shadow Farmer, I made the mistake of not min-maxing my drop rate and was farming around like 200% drop rate versus 300% drop rate and I totally noticed the difference in terms of how many familiars I was getting per hour. So obviously it's hard for me to tell any player when or when they shouldn't start to min-max for percent drop and know that this is just my recommendations towards you of, of what I think that most players should try to do. Obviously you don't need to go for max percent drop on your equips this is definitely something for more of an end game player to think about but it is something that is very useful for progression in the game but you don't really realize how important it is until you're at an end game point and it's too late to really farm a lot of these familiars and other resources so keep that in the back of your head and and understand that it's not a necessity by any means, but it will help. So I know there's probably a few things that I haven't covered yet in this video, but I hope that I covered most of the questions that anybody has for Miso in Drop Gear. If you do have any other questions, please, please, please leave them in the comment section below and I will help you out with whatever questions that you do have. But understand if you do take away anything from this video, that Miso in Drop Gear is extremely, extremely important and it should be 100% without a doubt one of the first major upgrades that you do make. We went over what Miso and Drop Gear is, when you should get it, how much time and money does it take to make, and what percent Miso and Drop Rate you should go for. That is what I think are the most important things to cover in this video. If you guys think that I missed anything or you want to hear some more takes that I have on anything considering percent drop rate or you know min-maxing certain things in the game, ask me in the comments. I'll give you my answer. But for now, guys, that is going to wrap up the entire video. I hope this video helped out. And until next time, I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace.